Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here, this time returning to you, not for a drama video, but for an album review. An Kid Cudi album that I never got a chance to check out for myself to see what I was going to think of this record for Insano Nitro Mega album that I'm going to be reviewing for you guys because I just finished the record. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for all 18 songs and let you know my thoughts on this 59 minute album. So let's dive into this album review. Now, he released Insano January 12th, the record. And off the bat, it was an okay record. It wasn't anything that I was crazy for, but there were some bops for it. Um, this one is a lot better. I will say that. Human Made was actually a pretty much a favorite of mine. Uh, I'd give this a 4.75 out of 5. It's pretty good in its own way. There are some hit or miss moments through the track, but overall pretty good uh song for what it went for so yeah diamonds lights fast cars um featuring Wiz Khalifa this was a pretty good one too so I really like the flow and the rapping from Kid Cudi and Wiz Khalifa in this track so pretty much 4.75 out of 5 for this one win or lose featuring Chip the Rap the Ripper uh, this was actually a really good song. Really like the natural flow to this track. Chip the Ripper's uh, rapping vocals are pretty good, and just the overall execution of this track did very good in its own, in my own opinion. So five out of five. Chunky was kind of a bit annoying. I didn't hate this song per se, but I would say this track has its hit and miss moments. And sorry about those dings. That's going to be coming up. It's my anti-viral protection thing for the laptop that's what the noise is if you're wondering so uh, or noises are so chunky's gonna get a 4.5 out of 5 solid track but it does have its weak gripes i have my weak gripes when it comes to this track like few critiques with how it's sounding how kid cuddy is singing it so yeah babe and i is Another solid track. I don't hate it necessarily, but I think it's yeah, it it does okay. So four point five out of five. I think uh, Kid Cudi's rapping in it is solid, but it does have its weak moments. Um, Willis featuring Chip the Ripper is a decent track. I, I don't know. I just wasn't connecting with the song for some odd reason because of the vocal tone in this track from Chip the Ripper and just the overall flow in the rapping is hit or miss so this is decent 4 out of 5 Crash Test Cuddy um decent track too I'm just not really feeling for it that much but it's fine in its own way so 4 out of 5 Everybody Like featuring Pusha T it was actually a pretty good song in its own way so Props to this one, so 4.75 out of 5 for this one. Electro Wave Baby 2.0. The remix is a lot better, in my opinion. Sorry about the background noise. That's my nephew's stuff, and he's throwing a fit now, too. 4.75 out of 5 for Electro Wave, Electro Wave Baby 2.0. I think this track did alright for what it went for. Um, Animate is a pretty good song in its own way, so this is a 4.75 out of 5. It features Chip the Ripper again, um, and overall, it executed pretty fine. Meaning, it, the overall flow, the melody, the rapping in it is pretty good. So, I like the mixing and production in this track, too. Uh, 4.75 out of 5. Round and Round featuring Lil Yachty is... All right for what it is. I'd give it a 4 out of 5. It's a decent track, but it didn't land with me because of Lil Yachty's kind of auto-tuned singing in its own way. So it's a 4 out of 5 for me. Dose of Dopeness, 2007. I think this was a song that came out back in the day for him. I don't know for sure, but just let me know in the comment section below because I'm a little confused on that part and the next song too. Uh, so, 4.75 out of 5, it's still a dope track. Uh, Rocket is a pretty good song, the 2011 version. I don't know if it's a original song that he did back in 2011 off his 
think second album or third album, I don't know, but honestly, pretty good stuff, so 4.75 out of 5, Ill What I Bleed is solid, it's not anything fantastic, but it's fine for what it is, so 4.5 out of 5, I think Kid Cudi's vocals and his rapping in it is tolerable in this track, uh, All My Life is a 4.75 out of 5, I like Kid Cudi's clean vocals and his regular vocals, singing vocals sound pretty good, so this is a 4.75 out of 5. I just want to get featuring Lazy Bone, Crazy Bone, and uh, Steve Aoki, um, Okai, I believe is how you pronounce it, or something, I might be pronouncing it wrong, but this is a 4.5 out of 5, I don't hate this track, I just don't care for it too much, so it's solid. Um, Moon Man Shit actually sounded good with the production and Kid Cudi's Moon Moon Shit. It may sound monotoned in a way, and that's the biggest critique I have with it, but overall, the production and the mixing is pretty straightforward and pretty good for what it went for, so 4.75 out of 5, and finally we get to the closing track, Superboy which closes out the album. It's a 5 minute and 9 second track. But overall, pretty good song. So, 4.75 out of 5. It ended the album pretty fine for what it went for. Overall, production mixing and execution wise, I found myself thinking that Kid Cudi and Sano Nitro Mega album was an average listen. This was a lot better than the Insano album. In my opinion, I think some songs on Insano are fine, but there's a few gripes I have with certain tracks for that record. I mean, I'd have to go back and listen to that record in my opinion, but honestly, the Insano project is not terrible for what it went for. The original and the Insano Nitro Mega, but honestly, in my opinion... For a score for me, I'm giving Insano Nitro Mega, sorry about the background noise, that's my laptop doing that for the antivirus thing. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 for this record. It's average for what I went for. There's a few hits and misses with this album, but overall, the execution's fine for what it went for. And the mixing's pretty good, along with the production, so he did good, uh, Scott Miss Cuddy, on this record. Uh, so, 7.5 out of 10 for the Insano Nitro Mega album. Hopefully you enjoyed this album review tonight, and thanks for watching.